tuition to any voter that the university provides with a letter which can be used for voter ID. This amendment is estimated to cost Ohio universities over $300 million. Republicans don't want to help students with the cost of tuition. They want to stop students from voting, and they are trying to get the universities to do that work for them. Initially, Republicans claimed they were trying to give voters a tuition break. Then they admitted they just didn't want students who moved here from out of state to vote in Ohio. House Speaker Bill Batchelder defended the amendment, and his quote in the Toledo Blade was, the real issue for local areas in particular is what happens when somebody from New York City registers to vote. How do they vote on a school levy? How do they vote on a sheriff's race? To me, there's a significant question, particularly the levies, as to what having people who don't have to pay for them would do in terms of voting on these things. However, the U.S. Supreme Court has already decided this issue back in the 1970s. Students have a fundamental right to vote where they reside. There's nothing that Republicans can do to make that right go away. So instead, they are throwing obstacles in the paths of student voters. There are some unintended consequences that have been discussed by universities uh, that could result from this provision. Um, currently, eight of the 14 universities, including Ohio State University and Ohio University, which is in my district, issue a letter for students who want to vote in Ohio. But if in-state tuition rates are tied to the receipt of such a letter, Bruce Johnson, the president of the Inter-University Council, has said that other out-of-state students could demand those letters as well, and those who don't receive the letters could sue to force universities to provide it. There's also the potential unintended consequence that more out-of-state students could apply to universities in Ohio with the expectation of receiving in-state tuition. And with institutions that are already at uh, or near capacity, that could mean more rejection letters to Ohio's tax-paying families. Republicans say that voting is a responsibility. I agree, it's an important responsibility. The difference is, I don't take that to mean that we should make voting harder for young people and college students. I think it means we should encourage student voters to take responsibility, to participate in their communities by voting, to welcome young adults to their responsibilities as citizens and empower them, not make them jump through hoops trying to exercise their fundamental right to vote. If you think about this, many of these students may be voting for the first time when they are at college, and this could impact their view of the elections process. This could color their view of how they participate as citizens. If they are faced with hurdles and turned away and not able to vote when they are enthusiastic about it, it could cause further damage to the civic fabric here in the state of Ohio and we need to ensure that students have access and encouragement to vote rather than policies designed to discourage them.